on likely things to hear in a restaurant. Let's skip the pudding. You look like you've had enough already. <laughs> wow, thanks for picking up the bill, Dara. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, we don't have snail porridge. No, this isn't owned by Heston Blumenthal. This is Heston Services. <laughs> How does crispy aromatic duck sound? Quack quack, but that was before it was either crispy or aromatic. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a reservation? Well, I'm not sure about all these Polish people moving over here. <laughs> <laughs> Table for two, please. But no food. I'm a woodworm. <laughs> This is a traditional Greek restaurant, so don't worry if you can't pay. The German government will cover it. <laughs> You'd like a Foster's? <laughs> Hang on, let's see if we've got any left. Barry, any Foster's left? Yeah, keg's nearly full, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the tip. If you find the rest of the chef's penis, please let us know. <laughs> Have you been to a harvester before? I'm joking, no one comes twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see the rugby players getting along with the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an unusual taste, isn't it? What, what, what is in this death by chocolate? <laughs> It's nice to see Zara and Mike getting along. <laughs> yes, it is an all-you-can-eat night, and that's why you can't come in, Mr Pickles. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a man's face in my soup and it looks just like me. <laughs> Excellent choice, sir. This lady is much fitter than your wife. <laughs> hmm? Rose for the lady. If you want to do something for the lady, why don't you fuck off? 